for the next preseason game, Slough away. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? Yeah, we're looking forward to getting a game. Um, it'll be um, our third game. We, we had one behind closed doors last week, which was of great benefit. We got a, got a lot out, out of that game. So um, it's another chance for us to continue to build the fitness, build our relationships, work on what we're working on in training. So, um, yeah, one game we're very much looking forward to. Of course, a lot of new players are joined this season. A bit of team bonding with the top golf earlier this, this month. How has that all been in terms of that? Yeah, the new signings have gelled really well. I think we've got a good camaraderie already. Um, that, you know, the players have been around each other a lot. We've, uh, you know, we've been working very hard together, and uh, I think that that hard work really builds those, those bonds. Um, we've all got a common goal. We're all looking to try and improve every day. And um, like I said, it's been a pleasure to be around them. There's been lots of uh, hard work and, and sweat, um, but at the moment, um, those hard yards will hopefully um, pay dividends going forward. With the obviously hotter week this week, how have preparations been ahead of this game? Yeah, we've, it's been another test for us, and, and that's what you want in pre-season. You want to be tested in it in every which way. That the weather's been another further test for us, and we've, we've tried to deal with it in the in the best possible way. But also use that to to build our fitness. You know, to to try and drive through those those hard times. That's what pre-season's about. Is about pushing yourself when you're on your on your knees and getting up and going again. And um, the boys have certainly done that. And um, yeah, I think next week it's going to be even even hotter. So we'll probably have to find a little bit more of a creative way of getting our work in in next week. But um, at the moment, it's uh, very much day by day. And and tomorrow we we have a tough trip away at at Slough, who um, you know know their management team well. They always put a very well good drilled team together and that's why we were keen to go and play play them and um, they'll they'll give us a you know a good examination and a good test and and that's what you want in pre-season you want you want to be tested you want you want to find the cracks you're not trying to um, cover anything up you're trying to expose the team to everything you know like I said the fitness the weather um, but also a good quality team that's just going to ask questions of you. Injury wise what's the latest on some players? Um, I think as with pre-season, um, you've always got a couple of, of knocks and niggles and you don't take any risks in pre-season. So uh, there, might, there might be a couple missing tomorrow, which we're hoping are more short-term issues. Um, and like I said, we'll continue to build on everyone's fitness and it's just getting that balance right. We are really trying to push through that, that pain barrier um, to, to, to get the adaptation and get that fitness into them. But also just knowing when not to push someone if, if they are tight, you know, so, there's, a, there's a difference between soreness and, and tightness and injury and we just got to make sure we don't go over that sweet spot. A few pieces of news to discuss. We'll start with a positive in Luca signing this week. Great addition he's been since joining. Yeah, luca has been, been great. Um, he's a goalkeeper we, we knew well, we courted, we've uh, you know, looked a lot into him and think um, you know, obviously he was, he was highlighted for, for some time now. Um, I think he really fits, fits the bill for what we're the way we want to play and what, we, what we're looking to do. And um, I think he's a goalkeeper who will hopefully benefit from the experience he gets here. Um, again, we're, we're very fortunate that Fulham have decided to trust us with one of their young starlets. And um, he's had some good experiences already out on loan. He was Stockport last year. I was a number two, so he's been in and around this league and he's you know, been in and around a successful changing room. So he's picked up some great bits of experience already. He's got all the tools. And uh, we, we've been really enjoyed working with him so far and, and uh, excited to see him flourish. Well, it's more competition for Ryan as well between those two, so he could be number one next season. Definitely, and, that, and that's what we need. We need we need that healthy competition. We want people battling it out for the shirt. Um, and, you know, we've definitely got that in our goalkeeping department now. I've got two very good goalkeepers, but also two very good young goalkeepers who we've... With uh, you know working with Robbie Yates every day will only will only improve. So they're in they're in in great hands. I think Robbie showed how well he done in that goalkeeping department last year and in, in bringing Ryan through. And uh, he had a great end to the season. So um, yeah, really really excited to see how those how, how those two continue to to grow. Talk about the first of two departures. Obviously, Alfie Saunders has left us this week due to his own personal things. Do you want to discuss that for us? Yeah, that's a that's a really a really tough one for me personally. Um, because Alfie is someone who is just an infectious character, someone you just love to be around, someone who's always got a smile on his face and gives his absolute all every day. And, uh, you know, if you could bottle his attitude and mentality and enthusiasm and, and give it to everyone, like, we would be absolutely flying. And, uh, you know, just, just, just sometimes in, you know, in life, you just need to just take a little bit of a break and, um, you know, just realign yourself a little bit and, and, and work out what's important and um, you know 
he has our full support at the moment. He's going to take a little bit of a time out, and um, you know he, he he does know, and I'll reaffirm it now that we're we're all completely behind him, and the door's always open, our phone is always on, and um, you know he's, he's someone who's um, it's probably the highlight of my management last year was giving him his debut at, at Grimsby. Um, you know, offering that that news to someone on the day of the game was a was a heartwarming moment for myself and a special moment for him as well. And then, and that's what makes this difficult because, you know, we've shared some great times together. And um, like I said, but his health is the most important thing. Um, we, we'll support him in every, in every which way that we that we can. And football needs to take a back seat at the moment. And there's you know there's far more important things than football. Um, you know, and we treat everyone as a, as a person first and a footballer second. And uh, at the moment, we're just. You know, we need to look after Alfie as a person. And um, like I said, he will be uh, stronger, better for these experiences. And that's what life's about. And um, like I said, he's, um, it's, it's a sad one for myself uh, because, you know, I love, I love being around him. But also I, I'm really pleased and proud of him. Proud of him for being so brave to, to, you know, have that real mature conversation and probably just just admit and seek a, a little bit of a little bit of help and that that's that's all that's all it is is just just opening up for a bit of help but the bravery that he's shown to do that um will will make sure that he's he's all right going forward secondly the departure of george physio or the head of medical performance we wish him all the best yeah of course yeah george has uh, you know since we come in has, has helped us get accustomed to the club he, he you know he he threw his hand into so many other roles other than just physio to help keep the environment um, growing. He was a, he's a big character around the place and, and he'll be missed. But, we, you know, we, we wish him all the best. And that's football. People move on and uh, the show must go on. And there's a, an exciting opportunity for someone else to step into now.